hardship is not a choice in life. Right? Hardship is something that happens to you. My, my parents actually encountered plenty of it as we were growing up. My dad faced, you know, I think a ruthless round of layoffs at GE under Jack Welch's tenure when my dad was, you know, 10 steps down the totem pole yeah. in their org chart. But what did he do? He went to night school at law school for four years. I was in sixth grade. I used to go with him and sit with him in the back of the classroom because we didn't, I mean, they didn't have child care or anything else. Full day at work, 45-minute drive north of Kentucky, but he kept his job that way because they had a shortage of patent attorneys. I say this because I grew up in a household where that was the example that was set for me. So when I entered the workforce, yeah, 2008 financial crisis mm -hmm. hit six months into my job. We had some problems. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I remember the example my parents set. Hardship is something that happens to you. It's not something you choose. But victimhood is a choice. Yeah. We choose to be victims. You don't choose your hardship, but you do choose victimhood. You can choose not to be a victim. And hardship is not the same thing as victimhood. And I share that because there are legitimate grievances that many millennials and Gen Z members growing up in our American economy can have. But honestly, for most of human history, most people of any skin color or whatever, we all have some grievance we can latch on to. But I think a big part of where we landed in this case of self-loathing was this deeper psychic insecurity that we're actually afraid of trying to realize our full potential because if we fail, we're afraid of that failure. Mm -hmm. We're afraid to match up to the standards set by the great man, our baby boomer generation that came before us.